everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin and I upload a whole bunch of different types of videos on this channel, mainly surrounding true crime and psychological cases as well as a little bit of university, no, no more university, uh, fashion and lifestyle will say from now on because I have literally just had my last week at university so no more university videos sadly. So I'm back with a collective haul and I'm warning you now this is going to be a big one. I have, as you can see here, separated them into piles. Um, there's a lot to get through. So I've got here some Primark bits, Zara, H&M, Topshop, New Look, and a few other bits dotted in there that I can't really remember right now. So you might want to grab a cup of tea or a snack or something for this because this is going to be a long one. I'll leave all the links to everything that I can find in the description down below. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this. We shall just get started. I'm going to start with Primark because sadly there isn't a lot of Primark bits. I've been a very good girl and held myself back since my last Primark haul was so big. Um, so I'm just going to start with those bits. Let's talk about accessories very quickly. I picked up this pair of earrings which are literally dupes for things that I have seen everywhere. I've seen these in River Island, Zara, honestly everywhere. And I found them in Primark. I think they were about two or three pounds and they are gorgeous. I just think they're such a statement. And to be honest with you, I very rarely see them in silver. As you can probably tell, I wear a lot of silver jewellery. So finding these in silver, I was over the moon. I'm so excited to wear these. I wish I'd put these in today, actually. And then we are back on the sunglasses obsession. So I have four pairs here that I've picked up. They were all either two or three pounds. I can't remember which one was which, but if you didn't know by now, I'm a little bit sunglasses obsessed and I love this time of year when it comes around that I can just go a little bit crazy on the cheap sunglasses. So first up are these. I loved these. They're literally like straight cut at the top, like they've been cut in half, which I just think was so cool. Then we got these big ones. These are massive. Again, these are very bloggery like. I feel like Kim K. <laughs> I think these ones might be my favourite. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe them. They're just little mini black ones again. I just think they are so cool. These ones are slightly more of a cat eye. And finally these. I picked these up because I saw a pair exactly like it in accessories that I loved. But obviously the accessories ones were a lot more expensive. So these are just like kind of mini little cat eye ones again. But they are tortoise shell. So if you need to get yourself a pair of sunglasses or any cute accessories really, Primark is on it at the moment. We're going to start off the clothes with something very boring, but first thing from Primark is this tiny little black crop top. It's actually a super soft material, it feels like something you pick up in Brian T. Melville. I got this in a 2XS and it's just a basic little black tee. I thought these would be just super handy to have with like some statement bottoms or even just with a nice pair of like jeans, blue jeans with a leather jacket or something. You can never really go wrong with one of these and I think this was probably about three or four pounds. I have yet to wear these but I'm so excited for when it's warm enough too. So I picked up this pair of shorts Now I'm really not a shorts person. I never wear shorts but I f I'm really feeling it this summer. Um, so these are little black shorts with like contrast stitching. Got them in a size eight and they aren't too short on me which is a miracle considering how long my legs are. And they were 15 pounds. Come with a belt. I just thought they were a little bit jazzier than plain black shorts. The cutest little crop top. It's just like a an acid wash grey little crop top. It's got a tiny little knot in the front. It was literally about three pounds and again I envision this with just like a pair of high-waisted black mum jeans or something when it's a little bit warmer if I need something a little bit more basic on top. But they are literally filled with little tops like this and basics and stuff which is perfect for this weather. And speaking of basics, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this because it is black. But I think this might actually be one of my new favourite tops that I have in my wardrobe. So this was about £5 I think and it's a little kind of ribbed like thin knit crop top that is, it's got a collar on it so it's like a little polo shirt but it's buttoned all the way down and it's sleeveless. It's so basic but it's also something that you'd see elsewhere like in Brandy Melville and Zara and things that you'd spend a lot more on. So this with a pair of blue mum jeans is just perfect and you could probably also put like a long sleeve top on underneath it. I don't know. I just loved it. Five pounds, can't really complain. I'm pretty sure they had in other colours as well. This next item is going to be so hit and miss. People are either going to love it or be like, what are you thinking? But I'm hugely into this trend. I don't know why, I was just drawn to it and then I've been seeing it everywhere since. I just think it's so cool and very different. So, I've worn this by itself before with a pair of blue jeans. But I can also kind of picture it with a long sleeves shirt, like t-shirt underneath as well, as like a little waistcoat jacket. So it's one of these kind of utility, almost like a fishing waistcoat, that's what it reminds me of, like a fishing vest. Just black with like pockets on it. I can't remember how much this was, I want to say it was about £13 or £10 or something. Very different, very out there. Um, 
but I really like it. Like I said, it's going to be so hit and miss. People are either going to think it's like cute and some people probably just hate it. I picked up this top, I'm pretty sure it's about £10, £8, something like that. And I'm pretty sure everyone and their mum has one, something like this, but it's just like one of these broidery little sleeveless tops that you see everywhere. So that's super basic, I'm wearing it with loads at the moment because it's just really easy to chuck on under like more statement things. And finally from Primark, I can't remember if I've already showed this in video, I have a feeling I might have, but I thought I'd show it again anyway. It is this leather, well faux leather jacket. It was £20, I got it a little while ago but I saw it in there recently. Um, I just really wanted one because I needed a new leather jacket and it's such good quality. It's got a nice belt on it and it looks a lot more expensive than it was. So for £20 obviously it's quite pricey for Primark but it definitely looks like much nicer quality than what you'd expect. Right, on to the next place. We've only made a dent, a very small dent in what I have to show you. Next up is H&M. I have a few bits that I picked up. Maybe about a month ago I first saw this top and for some reason I was just really drawn to it. But it was a little bit more expensive for a basic and I just wasn't willing to pay it really. So I saw it in London again when I went for my birthday and it didn't have my size. So all this faff went on, couldn't get my hold, like couldn't get my hands on it after I decided it was too expensive and then I changed my mind. But then I went into Hanley, which is near me, um, the other day, and it was in the sale very randomly for a fiver, so I just thought, why not? It's not even anything interesting, it's just a really thin, knit, sleeveless top, but it's, it's this gorgeous, like, tan colour, which I'm really drawn to at the moment. It's a roll neck, it just, again, looks more expensive, it's a basic, really soft as well, and um, I just envisioned this under, like, leather jacket again, with blue jeans. I just, for some reason, just really drawn to this colour, so for £5.00. You can't beat H&M prices really. And also in H&M they have loads of these style tops at the moment which are beautiful. But I just fell in love with this, this fabric, this print. They have it in so many pieces at the moment and I just think it's gorgeous. The little top was 9 99 It's this little like peplum. It's got a shirred elastic top to it and it's a little floaty at the bottom. You can completely readjust the sleeves like they are completely tight. So I love this. I think this is perfect for summer. It's just so cute. And like I said they have it in like so many different colours and fabrics and things but this was my favourite because of the print. The basic I picked up probably not the most appropriate for this time of year but it was in sale and I just thought it would be really handy to have my wardrobe. So it was £6, um, again it's one of these thin knit basics. It's a really really warm dark chocolate brown, little kind of cap sleeves, a mock neck, just t-shirt fitting but it's a really thin knit so again another nice quality basic that I picked up there. Going on from basics I got one of these little racer back black vest tops because I picked one of these up in Primark in a white and I have literally lived in it but I'm pretty sure Primark or at least every time I've been into Primark they haven't had it in black only like bright colours or stripes so I saw this in H&M for like I think it was like three pounds or something so I just thought I'd take advantage and pick this one up. Moving on to Zara, I picked up quite a bit in Zara when I was in London shopping for my birthday. So first up is this, it's, it's very very misshapen and creased because I've literally just pulled out the tumble dryer, I need to iron it. It's really really adorable, I love it. Little crop top, you really can't see what it looks like. But these are the sleeves, it's got this kind of layer on top here, um, and this is the bottom of the top. It's just really cute, you can take these straps off which is handy so if you don't want it sitting on your shoulders like this, you can take them off. Um, basic, but it's, I don't know, it's just signature Zara, I feel like, just kind of a basic, but a little bit different and a little bit statement. Picked up some basics in Zara, so first up was this vest top. This was 5 99 I think, so I got it in this like brownie, taupey colour, and it's kind of like a shiny, satiny material, which is nice. Picked it up in the brown, the white, and also a black. I'm pretty sure they might have had it in a red as well, I swear there was a fourth colour but you can't really go wrong with these basics. Then I picked up this top, this was 3 dollars in a red, and I also picked it up in a black as well, which is in the wash at the moment. But it's just like a really thin knit uh, sleeveless vest top. I'm really loving this sort of cut at the moment. So you really can't beat really, these Zara like basics pricing. And finally from Zara I have this, which I have yet to wear. I just thought it was so cute. It's a little crop top, uh, one sleeve, one shouldered, but the sleeve is like floaty. It's so cute and it's this really nice linen blue kind of material. It's got this little cutout at the front here at the bottom which is just a nice little additional detail and this was £20. Next up, Brandy Melville. I love Brandy Melville and when we decided we were going to Covent Garden on my birthday shopping trip 
I was so excited to spend my money in there. I actually didn't buy that much, I only picked up three items because I was pretty much overwhelmed, I didn't know what to buy. But first up I got this basic and it's quite a thick t-shirt, it's like a proper knitted t-shirt. It's this creamy off-white colour and then it's got little like speckles in it, you won't be able to see but it's like a little speckled cream top. Just a really basic t-shirt but like it's thick and it's just really nice material, you really, I cannot complain about the like the feeling of Brandy Melville clothes. This is by far my favourite thing I picked up in Brandy. I don't know why, I just love their like embroidered graphic things. So I got this black long sleeved top. Um, I'm pretty sure this was one size, which is obviously one major downfall with Brandy Melville is a lot of their items are only one size, which is very strange. Um, but it's got this pink embroidery like spider on it. I just thought it was really cool, it's really comfy. Um, I've literally had this on me most days I've been out to chuck on over anything because it's so soft. Finally from Brandy I picked this up which they had loads of in different like colours and types of plaid and gingham. Some of them even had like coordinating matching skirts which was really cute but I just picked up this. It's a little kind of tartan or plaid crop top shirt. Very short so it literally just comes under my boobs like to the end of my rib cage. It's really, really cute. I love it. I wish I'd spotted a matching skirt because I definitely would have picked it up. We're nearly at the end. We are on the last pile now. So, moving on to New Look. I picked this up a little while ago for uh, a friend who I live with, her birthday drinks, and I'll show you the top that I picked up for it as well. So, it's this kind of satin. I wouldn't say it's satin, I'd say it's like satin. It's like kind of more coarse, it's less silky than satin. But anyway, it's a midi skirt. I actually picked this up in the petite section, which again, I always mention my height in these videos, I'm so sorry, but um, if you met me in real life, you know that I wasn't petite whatsoever. I am about 5'11", I think, in height. I had no idea, but I know that my leg length is about 34 inches, so petite would not fit me. But for some reason, I just preferred the length of this, how it sat on my legs. It was just, I don't know, a bit nicer. So it's this kind of neutral snake print. A um, little bit different, but I really like it and I've actually been finding it super easy to style. So for the birthday drinks, oh this is inside out but you get the idea, I picked up to wear with this bodysuit, it's completely mesh black, long sleeve and it's got like a mock neck on it. I've been wearing it either just with a bra underneath for a night out or with the little Zara vest top that I picked up, the black one underneath, anything like that. It's just cute and again quite versatile. I picked this up recently, I haven't tried it on yet, but it was in the sale for £7. I've been really into this kind of um, like oriental style thing that's, that I've seen everywhere and New Look just seems to have quite a bit in it. So it's this really cute little white crop top and it's got this little fastening um, knot for the collar where you can undo it and then it's got a big circular cutout. I just thought it was really cute, a little bit different. I've yet to try it on like I said, but it was in the sale for £7. So I thought that would be a little bit of interesting um, change to like a little basic crop top. And then sticking with the oriental theme stuff is this dress from New Look, but it's part of the Cameo Rose collection. So this was 19.99, and it's this gorgeous floral print again with the same sort of mock neck style top and it's little cap sleeves. I just think this is so lovely. It's really nice quality. Um, it looks like it would be see-through, but it's also kind of not. It's hard to explain, but it's so cute. I absolutely love it. I've no idea when I'm gonna wear it, but I can't wait to. <laughs> so really randomly, while we were in London, we were on Oxford Street. I came across this shop called Reserved, which I've never heard of before, but it kind of reminded me a lot of like Zara. Um, similar sort of pricing, similar sort of style, and it was actually really nice in there. But I came for it right at the end of the day, because obviously I didn't know it existed, so I'd already spent all my money. But I picked up one item. Super basic, but I didn't have anything like it in my wardrobe, and I just felt like I needed one in my wardrobe. I apologise because again, it really needs an iron, but it's this really, really soft, like nice quality, big oversized white shirt with a collar that you can do up properly. So there's so many different ways to style this. Um, I just, I don't know why I was drawn to it. It was about £25, but it's really nice quality. So this is honestly going to be a huge staple in my wardrobe and I'm definitely keeping an eye on the reserved website because there's some really cute things on there. And the last items I have to show you are from Topshop. They are two pairs of jeans because I recently ventured into the world of Topshop jeans. I am sick of fighting with Primark jeans sizing. Sometimes they fit me, sometimes they don't. And so I gave in, I caved and ordered a couple of pairs from Topshop. I basically needed black jeans because I wear black jeans to work. I don't have any black jeans that fit me currently and Primark do loads of like really cool like mum jeans in blue colours and denims but never anything in black so that's what I bought. I bought a pair of mum jeans which are kind of like an acid wash black like they are the really really washed 
almost grey um, mum jeans and they've got distressing on them which is so nice and they fit me so well. I'm so happy I caved and picked some up. And what did it for me was I saw Brooke Edgington a long time ago, like a while ago, wearing on Instagram a pair of these jeans which I fell in love with and they are the uh, Topshop Dad jeans. So when I decided to buy some new jeans I decided to pick some up. Sadly they don't do them in a 34 inch leg which is very annoying but 32 inch are fine. They fit me pretty much. So yeah, I love them. They are like I said, dad style jeans, which I don't know what differentiates them between other styles, but they're very straight leg, almost wide leg, um, kind of boot cut looking, but they've got, these ones have got rips in the knees. Um, they are possibly my favourite thing that I've picked up in a long time. I have already styled these so many different ways. I'm so happy with them. Okay, so that is everything I have to show you. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I'm sweating, I'm very warm, my throat's hurting. As you can tell, I've got a cold, so that doesn't help. But I think that's everything I have to show you. I hope you guys found this interesting. Please feel free to leave any requests in the description. No, in the comments below because I am officially back. Um, I don't know what video that I filmed today is going up first. So I might have already said this in a video you've already watched. But as I said, I had my last exam in uni last week and I graduate in July. But I pretty much have nothing to do. Um, this is it now, like YouTube is my life now, so I am officially back. So please feel free to let me know anything you want me to do um, for a video in the comments, whether that's true crime case related, or whether it's a collab, or a Q&A, or a haul you want me to do, a styling video, anything. Please feel free to let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you guys found this interesting, and I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Thanks for watching, bye!